slightly shaped ends first and the two holes on the sides of the legs facing outwards. Slide the two cross struts through the loops of the side struts. The shorter side should be facing downwards and fit the bolts of the cross struts into the corresponding holes of the legs. Tighten the wing nut very solid. Put the rubber feet onto the legs and make sure that the stand is level. Place the stand on the floor and slide the right hand support into the slots of the frame. Be sure it's in the DM setting. Now the left hand support. Make sure the ears of the support face inward. Now fit the tray into the holes of the legs. This will fit on either side. Now we need to assemble the Duomatic 80. Put the machine beds onto the stand, making sure that the, the pads underneath correspond with the stand. Make sure the stand supports have not came out of the DM setting during this process. Here you see the underside view. Now attach the two clamps as shown. Make sure these are fastened good and firm.
Now put the two color changer on the right of the back bed and tighten the wing nuts. Oil the front and back cam box along the path the needle feet will move, also along the path the pusher feet will move. Now wipe up any excess oil that may have spilled along the flat surfaces of the inside of the cam boxes. Again, putting oil on your brush, now oil the top and the bottom main guide rails on both beds. Oil the needle feet. And oil the pusher feet. Insert the racking handle with the handle pin into the support at the left under the beds. Make sure that the white cam rests between the two metal ends of the racking indicator.
Insert the lower end of the mast into the socket on the back bed. If you wish to use the yarn buckets, insert the lower end of the mast into the hole in the bracket of the yarn holder. When the bracket is above its notch on the mast, turn it to the back and push it down until it clicks into position. Now place the two buckets into position on the bracket. Fix this yarn guide to the mast with its two eyelets to the back. Sit the support with two tension discs onto the top of the mast in such a way that the mast sits into the plastic portion of the support. Insert the holder of the two tension arms into the slot on the back of the support with the two tension discs. Here are two acceptable ways of fastening the tension arms when they're not in use. When done this way, be extremely careful when removing the tension arms. Be careful not to spread the wire of the yarn guide when removing. Now put on the back cam box. Align the guide rails of the cam box with the guide rails of the bed. Slide on in the GX setting. Now put on the front cam box the same way. Be sure and put on the adhesive sticker on the back cam box that shows the pattern settings. And now you've completed the basic assembly of the DM80. Now the assembly of the deco. Remove the two slotted racks. We now need to slide in the five positioning sockets into the slotted racks. Press down on the small U-shaped handle downwards and push in. Be sure that the entire socket is inside. You can put two in one and three in the other.
You may wish to look at page 26 of the DECO instruction book for a more detailed diagram of this procedure. Now screw in the extension piece for the knob of the blocking rail. Now screw in both halves of the slotted rack. There are already two screws set in place. Screw on the right half of the slotted rack to the edge of the needle bed. With the bars of the slotted rack facing upward and the black end piece facing to the right. Now do the same with the left half of the slotted rack. Notice the lengthening knob of the blocking rail pokes through the large left hole of the slotted rack. using the special hexagon spanner supplied or using your 5.5 spanner from your toolkit, remove the two hexagonal nuts and also remove the spring washers. Insert the hexagonal adapting piece into the special spanner and screw it from below over the screws. Press the screw located in the lower guide rail from above against the bed and tighten the adapting piece as much as possible. Slide the bed extension with the two holes over the adapting piece and tighten the two knurled nuts already on the bed extension. We now want to attach the deco bracket. We will be using the two dark gray screws with points. These both come with the deco. We want to remove this screw right here. Be careful that the piece it holds does not fall loose.
Now just loosen this screw. Now remove the one next to it. Use this washer on the dark gray screw with the point. Use the first dark gray screw with the point to fasten in one end of the deco bracket. Now remove this screw. Now carefully pull the deco bracket over and snap it in place. The two protruding pieces will fit into the indentations on the ground plate. Now put in the second dark gray screw with point. Be sure that there's a washer on it. Now put in the first screw that we removed. A little bit of grease on the washer will hold it in place so that it won't fall off. A split tip screwdriver will allow you to hold this in place much better. Now align all the openings that the screw will go through. Carefully push through all the openings and tighten it firmly in place. Now be sure that all three screws are securely fastened.
Now slide the deco selector on in place. It should now fasten to the front cam box. Now fasten the card reader to the slotted rack by pushing the two silver levers in the back you can release it and put it in any position you want. That concludes the assembly of the deco. This is the assembly of the form computer. We want to attach this stiffening plate and this connecting plate to the back bed of the machine. We will be using these four large silver screws. Put the stiffening plate on the inside of the frame. Notice that the holes face inwards. Use two of the screws to fasten this in place. Now the connecting plate fits on the outside. Use the two remaining screws to attach this piece. Notice how this screws down and pulls up the stiffening plate. We now want to attach the small magnet driver to the back cam box. We will be using the two small silvery screws with points. Remove this screw right here. Take off the washer and use it on one of the small silvery screws. Use it to screw on half of the driver. Now remove the other dark gray screw. This one does not have a point. Now take the other small silvery screw with point, 